He was 24 years old and she was 18. Staff Sergeant Robbins was a member of the United States Army's mobile baking unit. They baked bread for the troops in the small village of Brie in France, where the American troops were stationed at the time. This was 1944. A young French woman who lived near the bakery stopped by by happenstance at one point. Janine Ganaye and her two younger siblings went up to Robbins and asked for empty five-gallon lard buckets that had been left near the fence of the baking unit. He simply asked what they planned to do with them. They said that they were going to heat them up and extract the last bits of lard from them. Well, clearly, he gave them the old buckets at the time, and she started coming back every day. Their bond grew stronger and stronger over time. KT had stayed in Janine's village for three months up to that point. As their love continued to blossom and grow, their feelings for each other deepened. They could officially declare that they were in love. Back then, KT and Janine even had a secret meeting place where they could come together and give each other big hugs and spend a little bit of time. It was very hard back then to get away from the hustle and bustle of active duty for a passionate moment with a woman from the village nearby. But they did so. All the way up until KT had to abruptly leave. He was ordered to join forces on the Eastern Front, leaving Janine with vivid memories the day that he left. KT remembers telling Janine that he may come back to see her after the war, but he wasn't sure he was going to try. But unfortunately, that did not occur. Janine began studying English after the war in hopes that KT would return soon. But after waiting for five full years, she moved on. She got married in 1949, took on the name Pearson. After the war, KT returned home. He wound up enrolling at Ole Miss and wound up marrying Lillian. He had remained in close touch with her during the war. They were together for 70 years. For 50 years, KT and Lillian ran a hardware store in Memphis. Lillian passed away in 2015 at the age of 92. After her passing, KT pulled out a photograph of Janine from an old trunk. It was tucked away for the past 70 years. He was intrigued by what had happened to Janine. He had no idea what he was going to discover. K.T. Robbins, now 97 years old, left his home in Olive Branch, Mississippi to join other Allied troops in France to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Normandy invasion. But the journey was difficult for him. He had always felt that he had left a piece of his heart in a small village with Janine. And at this point, he was determined to find her. When French journalists met K.T. in France to commemorate the 75th anniversary of D-Day, they found out about his lost love story. Everyone was determined to reunite these two. Remember the old photograph? He brought it with him. And when a French reporter asked K.T. Robbins about the American soldiers who were still alive prior to D-Day, he showed the photo and said, I am sure I'll never see her again, believing that Janine had gone to heaven. As all good reporters do, they discovered that Janine was still alive and living in a nursing home. They didn't tell KT about it. Instead, they informed him that some of Janine's relatives would be paying visit. KT had no idea he was about to see Janine for the first time in what seemed to be a lifetime. On June 8, 2019, the two lovers who hadn't seen each other in 75 years reunited for the first time. For the first time since World War II, and the ocean tore them apart. What a fantastic opportunity to see you, girl, he exclaimed. You bring tears to my eyes. As they hug and kiss, they talk about the love they felt so many years ago. I've always had a thing for you. I've always had a thing for you. You'll have a special place in my heart forever, KT said to her. Janine also says something similar, only in French. I've always considered him close to me. I've always wondered where he is and whether he'll ever return to me. He still had his first love's black and white photograph after 75 years. He pulled out the picture and she was taken aback by what she saw. 
There was a pure flood of emotions that took over the both of them at this point. Janine said she would never forget the day that he left her village. I cried when the truck drove away. It was a very, very bad day. I held hope once the war was over. As they prepared to leave the nursing home, K.T. Robbins and Janine kissed, and they hugged each other several times before he began to cry and said that they would see each other again soon. I love you, Janine, he said, as his eyes welled up with tears. Imagine meeting someone 75 years later and still falling in love with them, KT said. It was just incredible. She turned back to him, looked him square in the eyes, and said best wishes. These are Interesting Things with J.C.